what is it? Later.
Well... Senpai. Yeah. Sorry.
That's so. Senpai.
Later. Later.
Senpai. Later.
quit it!
Thanks. The other day I went to visit Dad's grave. It's the first time I went on my own. I had a lot to tell him. How was it? I, well, I felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. <laughs> Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. It felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. It pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was keeping mom safe, and even trying to catch the killer. I was just being stubborn. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm gonna start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm gonna bust right through as my own self. That's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. Sir, it's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, we're gonna put those dolls of mine up for sale at the shop. They were a big hit with that kid and his mom. They called me just to say thank you. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Oh, I gotta go buy supplies. I need a jet. Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Rise stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. Then she said that was creepy. Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. It pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside. I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like when the police suspected me. It didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. I want you to have this, Senpai. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. This? For reals? <laughs> I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud.
So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me. Sorry for barging in like this. I wanted to talk to you, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. You know, well, uh, it, it's about a present. What would be, uh... Oh, okay, let me start over. I want to give someone a present. I don't know what they'd like, so... I thought I'd ask for your advice. It, it, it's for a woman. C confess my love to, to, to who? Um, I want to give it to Ma. That's what makes it so hard. There's got to be something it wouldn't be a good idea to give her. I am begging you. I have no idea what to give her. I want to be damn sure Mom's happy with it. I should tell you, Ma went to the hospital. Oh, it was just for an exam, though. She's out already and doing totally fine. But the tests seemed like they were rough on her, so I want to give her something like a hospitality award. Teasing me. I went to go visit her while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Ma looked at me and said, You've changed. She said, Your father and I are proud of you, son. Pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright and I keep causing her all this trouble. And she says she's proud of me. I mean, I'm, I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a punk like me without a single complaint and worked herself to the bone, and no one thanked her for it. I just, I feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. <laughs> Getting kind of leaky here. Ma was right, though. I have changed. It was because I got to know you guys. Until I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo that I tried to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. I wasn't holding my head up high. I wasn't proud of myself. But getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold my head up high, Ma's gonna be proud of me. Still, I wanna become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. So I'm gonna spend my life keeping myself in check to make sure I don't lose my way again or start lying to myself. power. This must be another me, huh? And I'll keep changing however I want to from here on out. 
I... I want to fight for others instead of just for myself. I'd rather die protecting something that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. And one day, I hope I can be strong enough to protect you too. It'll happen sooner than you think. Well then, let's make that gift. My present to Ma. I got some tools for you to work with too. It's cold out now, so maybe something warm for when she goes to sleep would be good. Hey, how about a crocheted hugging pillow you can put a hot water bottle inside? I'll call it a, a warmy yarny. <laughs> If we work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Ma always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Man, I'm glad I asked you, senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? 